Hello everyone! Today the bookworms are going to be reading How to Reach the Moon, written by Stephanie Moss, illustrated by Kristen Humphrey. Mouse wondered why, as she stared at the sky, I can't reach the moon, is it really that high? She pointed her toes, and she stretched really tall, but she still couldn't reach it, for she was too small. So, she tiptoed that night in the magic moonlight in search of a friend who could reach the right height. I'll help you, said Rooster. The hens all will too. What is it you need? Tell us what to do. Mouse said, See up there? And they all stopped and stared. They said, You want us to fly all the way. Where? Their wings went flap-flap, how their soft feathers flew. They spluttered and squawked. None of us can help you. So she skipped and she stepped, and she finally crept into the forest where Sleepy Sloth slept. Can you reach the moon? she asked. You climb all day. Sloth tried, but he yawned. It's just too far away. Then Mouse yelled, Yippee! Because what did she see? A long pair of legs reaching tall as a tree. Flamingo said, Outer space does sound like fun, but I will show you it just can't be done. The next plan went wrong, for although it was long, poor giraffe's neck simply wasn't that strong. Then, in the distance, Mouse saw an old friend. Surely her mission had come to an end. Wow, what a treat that we old friends should meet, Mouse said. My search for this task is complete. So Elephant leapt and she sprang and she soared, but then she collapsed in a heap on the floor. Mouse scratched her head. It's not over, she said. She thought of her friends and she sat up in bed. I've got a new plan, she wrote. Come to my house. I know what to do this time. Lots of love, Mouse. A crowd soon appeared with more volunteers. Let's make a tower, said Mouse, and they cheered. At first, they all wibbled and wobbled around. Then, with a crash, they fell down to the ground. They worked side by side, and the harder they tried, the stronger their tower grew. Made it, they cried. They feasted beneath all the twinkling stars. With friends like you, Mouse said, the moon's not so far. Moon Adventure Me and Cow Yummy Cupcakes We made it! Me and Sloth The End That's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. For more read-alongs like these, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. Don't forget to join us every day for a new video with a fun read-along. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!